right, there you are. The intro's running, right? The intro's done. You oh. are live. I'm drinking. You are live. We'll see how long we're live. You guys. Yeah, let's. let's oh, John's with us. Hi, John. We are having, of course, internet challenges, I guess. Oh, Jennifer is with us, and Vicki Horton is with us. All the regulars. All the regulars. All right. And we have a 6.2 megabyte per second stream. Which means shit to me. <laughs> Speaking of shit, I could shit and it would smell like a Christmas tree because we got all these greens. <laughs> all right. You want to take it away? Right. Hey, I'm drinking Three Floyds uh, zombie dust. I got it from, I think, Kirk Pfeiffer. I don't know. Maybe he didn't give me this. I know that he, I, he gave me... You know, uh, like I said, when I do my deliveries and that, I get all these tips in beer, which is fine with me. Hola, Mary. Who? Mary's with us. Mary. Neighbor. Oh, I got to pick your pots up yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I guess, just walk you through some of the stuff that uh, we're creating for the holiday and there is a lot more stuff. There's stuff that we weren't able to, I mean, we don't have a lot of room. We wanted to do it outside so we'd have more room, but of course the weather and it was freaking snowing. I mean, today I could see it come up Lowell Park Road twice. It was like a whiteout down the road. I was looking, I go, wow, it looks real hazy. And within like two minutes, it was just snowing to beat hell in Dixon. So we were all kind of in the greenhouse and and we had the heat on everybody was cold race and quinn were uh uh got wet and got cold they were doing a few things outside they got greens out of the truck and and that so and the guys uh race tried making a wreath and he did real well the first wreath and uh they did pots today <laughs> matt says reverend bud is in his church Matt, the whole house smells really good right now. Oh, yeah. We did not want to do it inside, but, you know, um, just like Gina's saying, the snow was a factor. Right. So these are the ho-ho-ho boxes. I mean, you can see them in the picture. There's two different sizes. Lisa did these. I had nothing to do with this shit. You know, she did these. And this is teasel. And we're real fortunate enough to be able to harvest, like, all these greens in the teasel. Uh, locally, so we're, we're. Do you want me to go and um, kind of like get close up with the um, with that one there? Yeah, if you, you want to, it. as I talk about these. Yeah, as long as it's not frozen. Move around so I can see if we are still alive. Oh yeah, okay. Let me grab that. Yeah, because I think it'd be good to, as I talk about these, to show show what's going on. All right, I'm mobile. What what did you want to? These are the ho 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 boxes. That, that we have, and the online store went on today. So you're able to go online and order these things, and uh, these we're making, you know, as, as we get the orders. We can't make them super far ahead because we don't want them to dry. Everything's been sprayed with a, a waxy thing like Wilt Proof, so the greens will stay real fresh, plus uh, our greens we just harvested this past week, so uh, uh, they're really nice. The other thing Lisa did are these, this one, where's the, isn't there a third there's, one? There's one up here. I'll, oh. I'll grab it. Anyway, these are the jingle, uh, like this is a, a, a God, I can't. Like a pitcher. Thank you, pitcher. And these I we harvested local too are uh, uh, holly berries. And the red twig was hot, everything. I mean, all the greens were harvested locally. So this is another uh, example of, of you know, some of the stuff we're doing. Here's a little bit different one. This is uh, uh, also a jingle. Uh, it's just different, and she's got birch in that one. They're really nice, really, really nice. Yeah, the other one that he's talking about is over here. Let me go She can back show up. you that. And that one's got pepper berry, or holly berries in it, too. And here's the top. It's really nice. And uh, these are, are uh, my attempt at a swag. This is just a plain swag. I mean, we can do these any way you want. We can put uh, 
pine cones and drives in it. We can put ornaments in it. This is one that Lisa did that's with drives in it. Pine cones, hydrangeas, and some berries in it. So we can do it any way you want. And we've got uh, uh, people that uh, uh, we've been doing swags for. They you know, say, hey, it can't be real wide. It's got to be real narrow. So we have to make the swag. So we can custom make them to anything uh, you want. Even if you wanted them bigger, you know, they'd be more expensive than what they're online. But it'd be a custom order. But we can do it. But all the greens, there's at least four different kinds of greens in here in these swags. But this is a plain swag. I just uh, we just brought that to show you and the same thing with the wreaths this is a, 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 a 24 inch wreath that was made and it's just plain you know you can get them plain if you want uh, it has at least four different kinds of greens in it uh, this is a woodland one I think that's woodland right Lisa yeah and it's similar to the woodland uh, Swag, but you know, teasel in it, pine cones, hydrangeas, berries, uh, and we can do any kind. We do ornaments. You know, there's people that we do reads for that are great because they say, "Oh, just do something different." Do you know? I love them every year, so it's fun being creative, uh, uh, being able to be creative. This is another wreath that Lisa did, kind of woodlandy, but with ornaments. The bow is just on there. You yeah, can I'll go over. You can pick all sorts of different bows out online or if you do not want a bow on it you don't have to have a bow on it but you can just see the uh, ornaments the white pine cones and different things on on those and we can make up anywhere from a 12 inch wreath all the way up to a, a, a five foot wreath all right so i'm gonna back up into my little cubby okay so we can we can do all sorts of uh, wreaths, any size, uh, in any way you want it decorated or whatever. But you know, there's usually at least four different kinds of greens in the wreaths, and some of the wreaths might have you know uh, uh, arborvitae in it. Some of them might not. You know, we just it just depends on what we have available. Uh, so the pictures online they'll, they'll look like that. I know they'll always have Fraser fir. They'll always have white pine in it, and excuse me they always have spruce but we might alternate with you know the juniper you we might put arborvitae in it and it just depends so and you can see we have a lot of personality here tonight you know, besides me yeah well we have the gnomes <laughs> so your homie was a gnomey so we've got gordon you know bring gordon up no, I'm not. You're going to come over with the thing and show Gordon. No! <laughs> I'm not going to pull Gordon off anything. Oh, there's, Do there's Gordon, there's Doc, there's Horton, and I don't know what his name is up there. You want, okay, I'll, I'll grab it again. I just, um, I can't monitor the comments when Bud's right. got me moving around, so I'll, we'll, we'll pick up all the questions later. Right. All right, what do you want me to go I just, I don't know who he, who's he. Oh, that's Credence. Credence. And you can see these gnomes, and we've got certain themed gnomes, and people that, if you, if you got a gnome last year and you want another gnome, and you kept the frame, hopefully you kept the frame and the hats and stuff, you can drop them off. People have been dropping them off at the shop with their names on it and their stuff and said, hey, can you redo the gnomes again? So uh, we can do that, or if you want to get a new gnome, we can do that. But you can see the two different kinds. These are the fleece, this is fleece, right? Yep. And then there's the ones with uh, 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 burlap, burlap uh, hats. And then there's just two sizes. Yeah, there's a, a, a stubby and a regular. Yeah, there's the stubby and the regular. It's about a two foot and a three footer. And the other thing is, is for you do-it-yourselfers, we have two different bundles. These are uh, bundles of greens. They're about anywhere from, uh, there's stuff in here that's probably a foot long to, to uh, uh, ooh, get my, don't know my own strength. But uh, uh, they're about 18 inches to 20 inches long. And this is a premium bundle. It comes with some red twigs and some birch that you can have. Or if you just want, if you got a pot that you just want to do yourself at home and you just need the greens, these are, and they're nice bundles. 
These are really nice bundles of greens and they've all been sprayed and treated. So uh, they'll last through the winter. And it's a good thing like if you're doing your own pot at home, you know, fill it with, uh, if you've had like plants in it in the spring, don't dump the soil out, just cut the plants off and water it really good because all that root mass that's in there from the plants in the spring will help hold these greens. And if you shove all the greens in after you water it and it gets real, real cold and freezes, those things will stay in there all winter and they'll stay green. You know, we pride ourselves, you know, I keep telling you, we pride ourselves on our greens staying really, really fresh all winter because we harvest all our own greens. I'm going back. Okay. Wow. I got a lot of shit down here. I need Whoa. To, I need to drink. Kind of wobbly. Okay. I'm back in my bowl. All right. Ooh, yes. Oh, what we got? <laughs> Chris Thompson Weeks says, uh, they kind of resemble Bud with his long hair and mustache and beard. Yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> anyway, what we didn't bring and we couldn't bring, I mean, we don't have much room in the kitchen as it is, but we didn't bring like our black Milano pots that we have that have birch in them. Uh, and if any of you bought those last year, hopefully you saved the birch. And, and if you have the pot, you can just drop them off. I know we've had uh, uh, Teresa Miller just dropped all her stuff off. She kept the ornaments that are on stakes and stuff. So uh, any of that stuff you keep and you bring back, and then we can redo it. Or if you want another one, those are really nice. This is a 12-inch porch pot that uh, is really nice. And this is what the guys tried to do. To, uh, or I had them, I go, hey, make. I showed them how to do one. And I said, all right, make one. And they did really well for the first time doing a porch pot. So they're going to be... Uh, uh, promoted into porch pot makers. And we also have Cindy's, which are bigger, they're 17 inches. Uh, we didn't bring those uh, either. And for the gnomes, to go back to the gnomes, we have a door gnome. If you don't have room to sit on your uh, porch like one of these other gnomes, but you can hang one on your door. We have, one, they're shaped like Christmas trees and uh, you can hang them on your door, but they're door gnomes. So they're really cool. We just couldn't do all that. You can see all that online. Uh, so Lisa wanted me to... <laughs> just gotta... a quick demo. Oh, shit. I mean, the pattern's pretty simple. It's just like a base is our greens. And then if uh, you want it uh, made into a woodland I have nothing to pot. cut with. Oh, God. Oh, do you need, like, uh, pruners uh, or something? Yeah, I have nothing to cut with. Cut with your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> God. No. Okay. Oh. What, what you can do is just kind of put these in there like that. So he's putting together um, using elements that what, what we would do if you wanted a woodland styled pot. Mm. They get hydrangea and teasel and pine cones. And then Beyond that, if you want it ornamented, oh Jesus! I, I need just some. snap it. They snap really. Yeah. Easy. Have you done this teasel without gloves with all the spines on it? <laughs> you poor baby. Do you want me to get you some gloves? You, no. What did you not come prepared? No. <laughs> get your fucking prepared. <laughs> oh. And I've been listening. I, I, the guys have really, really liked it that I have not played the, this isn't gonna look very good because it's so tall. I Snap need, it off at the bottom. I can't, Lisa, there's so many spines on this. Here, you that, big wuss. <laughs> Ouch. Give me that thing. Mm -hmm. Sure, mm-hmm, uh -huh. uh -huh. Whatever. Talk to the hand. There you go, baby. Oh, now you made Poor three thing. out of it. What am I going to do? <laughs> do your, do your foo-fooing. Oh, yeah, I got your foo-fooing. <laughs> Ouch. I'm doing this a little bit different. It looks nice. Ouch. Gina tells you to be careful. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Why, give, will you open the drawer and give me something to cut with out of the oh, drawer? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hold I, on. I just need something. I, I didn't bring pruners. Open the drawer. Really? Yeah, there's not that drawer because that is. I can't open this drawer. 
one in Cream the ship. is in the way. What do you need? I need something to cut with. Oh, well, okay. I there broke you it. go. Give me, give me that. What else do you need to be? Nothing. Just leave me alone. Go back to your camera. You're the producer. <laughs> yeah, Gina, I'm right with you. I'm putting that up on the screen. What? Quit being a wussy. <laughs> yeah. Need some red. Chris uh, Thompson Week says need some red. That would be if um, if you wanted to get it ornamented, then you would be picking out ah. colors. And let's say you wanted an ornamented pot. We start with the base. Of we greens. start with red right hold, here. Hold on, hold on. Then we then we'll add the um, the the natural elements. And let's say, for example, you really want it red. We can tint, and we if you give us specific instructions, we follow those. Otherwise, we just do what thinks look thinks looks beautiful. And so, if you wanted something that was really showy and red, I'd probably tip those hydrangea um, with with red just to give them a blush, kind of move it into a bigger red feel. But we can do any of that kind of stuff um, when you order. You'll notice online there's going to be an add note field and that field is where you tell us exactly what you may want if you're not seeing it clearly in the online store. Or we can always be reached by Facebook. You can message us too. Say, hey, I just ordered a, a wreath and I'm really wanting to have reds and can you please, or let's say red and white. And I want you to have white tip pine cones, all that kind of stuff. So even if online you're not seeing that choice, we have the flexibility to be able to build it to your specifications. <laughs> Gina, temperamental artist, no doubt. Gina, go to work. Aren't <laughs> you supposed to be at Kroger's? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. You need a drink. I need a drink. Just anyway, I've been putting. What are they called? Apple, the things that you got got me the ear things. Um, what are they called? AirPods. Yeah. Anyway, there. She says off today, hillbilly. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so I put my a... Apple AirPods in, and I've been listening to one of my favorite uh, uh, records that uh, I play downstairs. I used to play downstairs uh, uh, once in a while. Uh, was Robert Goulet's Christmas. I don't know why, I always just liked him. Mom liked him. It's one of Mom's Christmas, my mom's Christmas albums. The other uh, one was, and we used to watch him on TV. Remember the bouncing ball, sing along with Mitch, and it would bounce and you'd sing. I've been listening <laughs> to the Mitch Miller's Christmas music. Today I did Burl Eyes, which is great. I just thought it was great. But anyway, I've been able to put my ear pods in and I can listen to Christmas music, even though they don't want to listen to Christmas music. Now, I'll tell you a story. Yesterday, I called one of our wholesalers to get some more stuff and, you know, <laughs> We're lucky we're getting some of the stuff that we can uh, uh, decorate with because uh, a lot of the stuff is out in the water, you know, waiting to get unloaded. But anyway, I was talking to her and she goes, is that Christmas music I hear? And I said, uh, yeah. And she goes, oh my God. And I said, no, I said, if I got to decorate that, I got to get into the funk, you know, and, you know, get in the mood to do it. So that's why I like to, and I've been listening to, truthfully, I've been listening to the Christmas music all year long. So I, I like it. And when I was in the shop cutting mittens out for the gnomes, I was listening to Jackie Gleason. So, and I like Jackie Gleason too. So some of that old stuff is really nice, nice to listen to. And it reminds me of my mom and dad and, and my, uh, uh, a lot of the old records I have downstairs of those, Jackie Gleason that are all my moms and stuff. So. Miss you too, Gina. She's like, she says she misses us. Yep. Well, I see her every when I go into Kroger's. Yeah. Uh, th things. Oh, she does the Christmas. She loves Christmas music all year round too. One of the other things I wanted to tell you, and we've had questions. Uh, Kelly, who's putting Wallingford Gator Heating and Cooling, uh, is putting our heat, new heater in the fourth greenhouse. 
uh, grave blankets. We, uh, you can get online and you can see the grave blankets and that. We, can, we don't have them really on hand. I can get them within a day and then we usually fluff them up and, and stuff like that so we can get those. The other thing is I pick up Christmas trees on the 18th so give us a day. The guys are going to be putting the Christmas trees out on the 19th. They're all number one Fraser firs uh, like we had last year so they're not uh, uh, crappy trees. So you know, you order them online and we schedule your time to come and pick them up. So, uh, and if there is a problem, you know, with you don't, you can't get there or whatever and you want a tree, you know, we could, uh, uh, you know, schedule something to where maybe after work one of the guys could deliver something on the way home or uh, anything like that. So, the other thing is the roping will be in. And, uh, that will be in, it's supposed to come in on the 16th. So we'll have the roping uh, uh, garland that you can put on around your doors and stuff like that. And all this stuff is, uh, we're getting in advance, you know, hopefully and that, but you know, it gets shipped from the West Coast and that. So, and you know how you've been reading about the trucking and stuff. So, uh, uh, so it's what just, product are you talking about? The roping, the garland. Oh, you know, uh, well, are they having trouble with it? The... Well, they. He oh, said it was supposed to be in on the sixteenth, so we, we or we should have it at our place on the sixteenth. So I'm, I'm just holding my breath. You, be, you better pull out that hand making uh, yeah, rope got, machine. I, Get well, busy. I do. I do. I have yet to been able to try it. Maybe tomorrow, <laughs> while you're there taking pictures, I might try to do some of that. Yeah. To, I've got greens inside to do it. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I mean, you know. All the stuff I've been reading quite a bit about the uh, supplies and, and things for the holidays and that, you know, coming up Thanksgiving and, and that. Uh, I don't know how many they have left. Maybe they don't have a lot left. But if you're, uh, uh, the supply of turkeys I know is going to be kind of low. So if you haven't got your turkey or you're looking for one, you know, try Hollyhocks Farms. You Are know, they still taking orders? I think Joe's still taking orders. Joe and Margot Reaver. Uh, out here on Mound Hill Road, great. They're organic chick. I mean, they're 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 they raise them all organically, and they take them to the only certified organic processing in a plant down in Arthur, Illinois, and have them all processed. We always we get our turkey from Joe and, and Margot all the time. So, and the same thing with eggs. You know, they were I just been reading on all this stuff, the eggs and stuff like that. You know, Hollyhock Farms. You know, Joe Joe and Margot have eggs. Uh, uh, that are available and you can get them at the farmer's market or you can go out to their farm out on, on Mound Hill Road and, and get their stuff. They have cheese, they have, they have uh, chicken, uh, they have ground uh, uh, turkey. You know, they, so they have all this stuff. If you're having a hard time finding uh, some of the stuff with the supply and uh, the stores having it, uh, you know, try locally. You know, there, there is options around here for you to be able to, to get stuff. And, you know, uh, hollyhocks are all organic. So, you know, it's really uh, healthy for you. I just thought I'd add that in there. I know that I ordered our turkey a long time ago. I told Joe, you know, that, and Margo that we, uh, uh, what we wanted. So, and they're really good. And I usually do a brine solution or whatever with turkey. I, and I, there's a new one. I just got one, uh, saw, and I'm going to try it this year. But we always have fun. Uh, it's just Lisa and I on Thanksgiving, and that's the way. It's it's nice. It's just her and I, and we just kind of pig out and just kind of <laughs> rest mm -hmm. and that. But anyway, online stores open. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have problems, you can message us. I'm monitoring the phone, so I'm sorry. And I changed the message on the, <coughs> about you know the holiday season. So I, and I've been looking at the phone every day. And I've been calling people back that have called us and that. So uh, I apologize if I have not gotten back to you on anything. Uh, it's just having to wear 25 hats. You know, I had to clean the bathroom today. You know, oh, you so. know, you know, talking about the supply chain disruption, Gina was saying we get got our Mother's Day cases from May in Thanksgiving and Christmas just recently. 
Yeah, weren't weren't you talking about they were they were ordering that stuff months in advance? Yeah. Months in advance. There's, <clears throat> there's it's just it's, there's just a few things that we get jammed up with some of the, some of the like pots and stuff and well I cer certain um, um, materials that we use for sure. decorating like berries, but you know for the most part we're we're growing it or you know harvesting it ourselves and so we don't have it as bad as some people. But I'll tell you, pots are going to be a deal. Yeah, plastic and, and the shipping is going mm -hmm. to be a freaking killer, you guys. Don't, you know, it, it, we can absorb so much, but I tell you what, you know, there's, there, it's going to be to the point where we're, you're going to have to raise the price of some to be able to, to, to uh, uh, make any money because the stuff's going up. You know, one of the things I noticed just in the last uh, uh, a week, Go on I went to uh, find gold spray paint and that, nobody, I mean, you go to Menards and that spray paint aisle is decimated. So I went to Walmart to see if I could find spray paint. Hardly any there. So I'm going to go to Ace tomorrow. Hopefully I can find some gold spray paint. We've got some at the shop. I went through the case today and was looking at what we have. There's not a lot of full cans in that. But, you know, sometimes we spray the teasel like this has been sprayed, I think, white. And that, but we'll spray them different colors. And, and some of the hydrangea heads will spray different colors and, and things. But, you know... I spray paint. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know if that's something that's not made, excuse me, in the U.S. and it's shipped over or what. You know. And I've noticed the ornaments. You know, there's not a lot of ornaments and stuff uh, out. So, but we'll have fresh trees, and that's uh, I go and pick those up at Nelson's Family Tree Farm which is a great, Gary and Joanne are great people, really nice people. Uh, and I look forward to visiting with them this Thursday. This year I'm going to go up alone, but I think probably next year I'll probably take uh, Mr. Wiggles with me. Uh, he'll be five years old and I think he'll be old enough to ride that far in a, in a big truck and uh, with me and we'll have a good time. So he was over today. Neil. McKenna, we got our cart back. It's when we were going to use that tonight outside, but of course we can't do that because of the weather. But Neil McKenna redid the old cart we had at the shop that was falling apart and he made it out of cherry wood and it's freaking awesome. It's really, really nice for uh, Lisa and I are going to use it here for uh, entertaining and, you know, to put things on. So are there any questions? Uh, no, more just comments. Good. You know. Um, yeah, Chris was, uh, they know Hollyhock Farms. Organic, organic, organic. Yep. yep. Joe and Margo are great. Joe's a great guy. Joe yeah. gives you a shirt off his back. I don't know what I do, <laughs> you Go know. On that one. Go on that one. I don't know what I would do. You know, Joe lets us borrow his tractor. He's rototilled. I'm looking over there, Lisa. Which camera are you pointing at? that camera i'm thinking looking at the gold because you're going over there you know how can they see me in that camera oh. is looking at this <laughs> God. okay oh, you need to say camera number one. Oh, gina wants to know are distinctive garden hats like you have lisa for sale i'm working on it i'm working on it i think they're kind of cool and they're super soft so actually the, um, this is the same kind of hat that the um, homies, gnomies have. The gnomes are made out of. So if you pick up a fleece hat gnome, do not throw that hat out because it's so soft. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, we're working on it with the little patch and everything um, getting there. We're not doing anything super fast these days, but yes. No. No, I, Gina wants one. I, I had to go out. I can see you wearing one of those hats. I had to go out today, Race and Quinn were working outside, and Race had a baseball hat. He goes, my ears are freezing. He went out to his car, he goes, I don't have a stocking cap. So I went to Khalil's, uh, they are a Carhartt uh, dealer in Dixon, and I went and got <laughs> a, a stocking hat for him. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really warm. And, and I'll have him give me it back, and I'll put a patch on that. Oh, light went out. Which one? A little one right down there. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I think that they're... they're the batteries? They're, yeah, the batteries okay. are going. So, is there any gardening questions or whatever? We're trying to, every gardening, night if you're in gardening our... Gardening questions? Like in, in the snow? Like Mary, <laughs> if you hear us 
at night every night with the blower that's because we're blowing the ginkgo seeds off the driveway because it smells like vomit outside it's freaking cold and windy today uh yes it was yes we were gonna have this outside but oh my gosh when i saw the sleet going sideways i was like no mm -mm -mm -mm. and it snowed hard in dixon and we were in the greenhouse and all of us all four of us heard the brake squeal and then something go boom and I, we came out of the greenhouse. Look at that one. We came out of the greenhouse, and uh, we all looked at each other. I go, did you guys hear uh, like a rack and that? And, and Jody said, yeah. So we went and walked out, and we looked down towards Larry Prindeville's, and there was a vehicle down there. So I got in my van and went down there, and a, a, a gentleman had pulled off with his truck and had his flashing lights off, and I pulled off in front. She hit a deer, and you would not believe <laughs> How much? I bet you that SUV was totaled. I could not believe the damage that deer did. And that deer got up, and uh, uh, oh, I can't remember. Uh, Mr. Love was outside also, and he said that it was a big buck, and that it got up and ran, and then fell down, and got up and ran, and fell down. So the three of us went out in the field into the uh, kind of wooded area and looked. We could not find the buck. I don't know where he was at. But the, the lady drove off and part of her car was dragging. I mean, it was bad. I could not believe the damage that deer did to that car. So if you're on Low Park Road, that's in the day. That was about one o'clock in the afternoon. Hmm. So be careful, you know, going down that road. That road is notorious for deer. Oh yeah. I'm making pizzas tonight too, after we get done. I have to clear the kitchen out because I can't do anything in this kitchen. I just, I, put, I just put you on that main one. Which one? The main one, so you, you, you keep on wanting to look. Which is the main one? Right here. Okay, here. all right. But uh, I also been getting my recipes up and going and, and starting uh, probably Sunday, I will make uh, some cookies and put them in bags. So when anybody that places an order and comes and picks an order up, you'll get some of my special cookies. I don't know what kind I'll be making. I make some different ones every week or whatever, so we have them fresh uh, uh, for you. So, but they'll be my uh, rendition. And I think one of our sipping trips is going to be my cookie. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, there's been times where I've only made maybe 12 or 13 different kinds. The last couple years, I've made over 20 different kinds of cookies and give them to my friends, and we take them to. Uh, different places. We took some several, uh, well, two or three times to the hospital. Uh, we just did, uh, Mr. Wiggles and I just did Walgreens. Ah, uh, Gina remembers rum balls. Who? Gina. Oh yeah. Rum balls. Yep. But anyway, so all those people, we try to think about them going through all, you know, we, we uh, were at Walgreens and Kathy Flenner was answering, chain answering the phone one question after another and they're trying to work and they did 120 shots in one day there. It's, un, I mean, I, unbelievable what they went through. And so we took them a big box of cookies and, you know, that's at least we could do for them to thank them. Mm -hmm. So, and anybody, if I have to deliver any trees or anything like that, beer is, you know, you want to give me a tip? You know. Oh man, get this, I got to read this one. Um, Jennifer um, Bachner said last Saturday in the middle of the afternoon on Lowell Park Road, we had a huge buck fly over the hood of our car. <laughs> the hood. I wonder if that's the same one race saw. I, mean, I could not believe huh. that the, the damage to the passenger side of that SUV. I mean, it was unbelievable. Gee. You know, the lady saw my face going like, oh, like, holy shit. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it took the whole front part of the passenger, the grill, and the, the quarter panel. I mean, there was stuff hanging off. It was amazing. Yeah. Well, how much damage, you know, and it must have been a pretty big deer. So, any other questions, you guys, or anything? No, what's going on? There's not really questions tonight, dear. Okay. Well, like I said, if you have any problems, message the page, email us, leave a message on our phone. Uh, uh, if you're having problems ordering stuff, we can walk you through it mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we can email you the invoice and then you just pay that way and, and we'll schedule a, a time to uh, pick up 
Uh, it's going to be the same way it was in spring. We got eight tables, and you pull up to you know whatever table number we tell you to, and if you get wreaths, roping, or whatever, or a Christmas tree, you just you know we'll schedule you a time and you pull up to a table and you can go out with your family and you guys will be the only ones on the lot at the time uh, to get a tree. So. Yep, there was already I think several trees that really? have been scheduled. And like I said, we don't buy any. <clears throat> for the better phrase, shit trees. They're all number one <coughs> Fraser firs from the Nel and the Nelson's tree farm. They, I, I, we haven't got any bad tree. There was one time we got a real kind of funky tree and I brought it into the shop and decorated it up and it looked really cool. So uh, we get a Victorian every year. Yeah, um, question for, from Jennifer. Um, yes, you can go ahead and order your tree now the trees are online, and then pick the day that you want to come and check out the lot. And I hope, I hope I'm ask, answering your question um, the way you need. The one thing I can tell anybody that is interested in trees is that, as we all know, that Friday and Saturday after Thanksgiving is super busy. So since you can we're get them a, beforehand, if we're an appointment. You know, we'll slide you in there, but those particular days fill up fast. So if you have a family tradition where you want to um, pick out your tree on Friday or Saturday, um, go ahead and get that order in now because those slots are going to fill up fast. Other than that, it's good. Right. We'll have our tree up. I'll pick the trees up on the 18th. I'll unload our tree on the 19th. Our tree will be up on the 20th or 21st. And I already have my uh, 1,500 lights ready to go. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, everybody. I think that was the one thing I really wanted to try to um, yeah. uh, emphasize is just and that the, silly tree lot thing on that Friday. Right. That doesn't Saturday. mean you have to take it now. Just order it and pay for it so, you know, you've got, got it, you know. Right. And, and you got a time slot in there. And the same thing with the roping. You know, uh, who was the one that, oh, I can't remember the lady's name, said that she wanted to get roping or whatever. And I just told her, I said, well, drop your pots off and, and you know, order the roping. And, you know, we'll have, I'll cut the roping for you uh, and have it ready for when you pick up your, uh, uh, you know, Christmas pots, you know, the porch pots. So. Well, guess who queued us up? Oh, John. Yep. All right, John. I'm putting that up. All right, you guys. Take it easy. Have Thank yourself you. a great weekend. Yep. Stay warm. This weekend is supposed to, Tuesday and Wednesday is supposed to be warmer, and then it drops back down again. Yeah. So it's welcome to Illinois. Peace and love to all of you. See you guys. Bye.